So, well, there are some demonstration of the people. So, okay, we have some new stuff now where we are working on, like, okay, let's run through the little list of things. Oh, yeah, okay. So, um, we redesigned the player with a new um, thing to go ahead and set that back. Okay. So, here you now it's going to be is to set the rate of the player, and this is going to be closed caption. These buttons are naturally actually not working yet because I'm just designing adding button to the interface however mute and all this stuff really works you know what I mean like that all right okay we did go to a little other stuff to like okay this is actual player without the closed caption and um, setting the rate for the player right okay uh, so we tried this and we also went ahead and tried another button right here it's a little but that one come more to the traditional HTML5 um, player. So HTML5 player is this. Now, back in the days when I was using um, Flash and I was using um, Real Audio and Microsoft Window codes to put like a picture inside a web page or, you know what I mean, a video player. Those days are long gone. Now we have HTML5 and all this stuff is embedded now in the code of the World Wide Web. And this is what they give us, right? So, but they give us this and they also give us other ways of getting to do this, change up the stuff on it, you know, change the interface. Ah, uh, well, there's a lot of people over here, like, let me go jump into the website, uh, that's Bootstrap, but I'm here, like, okay, you have player and player. These guys are the guys that love to say they are making players, right? Different players. We have um, video JS, and then we have um, okay. So we scroll through them, right? And just get a whole nine yards. It's everything I come through. So different, different guys are doing different players. Um, my thing, I never really got into HTML5 um, things like this because now because I'm doing this, I never really got into it that way. And when HTML5 program came around, I read the thing for about a week when the new development came and language and everything and after studying that after two weeks i created a program in html5 generator to do some things um first well we have something here so this is our source code right here source type and i click on the source type and i'll go down and i'll find it for you the source code is right here right so i have to generate it right there because there's a lot of things about generating video stuff. We like things separated. It depends on someone who's actually a developer and they want to use a code in many different ways. Okay, I'm going to insert a player. And i explain what happened. Okay. Now, here is my source code. Right? Here is my player. Okay? But within this player right here, this player definitely has embedded the video. So... I actually did it wrong, you know, but I'm going to go back up there and do the right thing. I inserted a video. So I made multiple buttons on here to just insert a video on the fly. But to generate a video, we'll generate the video with the source code to explain what I wanted to just explain a few minutes ago. Okay, fine. So the source code is here. Okay, let me widen this guy up a little bit more. And the source code ends up here. Well... That's like computer magic, right? See? Um, what comes here, when it's generated, becomes right here. Okay, so, um, make the thing fast and quick, but we're gonna try to see what we can generate what's on HTML with no, nothing on it. It's just a basic HTML page, right? Okay, we find a live here and it should try to show us this. In 2166, an immortal tyrant named Vandal... So you see, okay. The actual point behind that, this software that I created um, actually just does this. Create a player for you on the fly. Um, let's close out this area right here. Um, it also writes the code for you, right? Which is here. So if you um, or someone who will know about video codes or web code, you can actually tweak it and make it a little 
in which way you really want to make it. You understand like that? That's the purpose of what I did. But over a period of time, the program really grew. I mean, they said grow, it get bigger, you know, as you went along. All right, so, okay. Magic, pure magic not put inside of the program, no. Okay, we're, whoa, we can just like say, let's choose a color for the skin. We're going to do sort of like a pink red skin thing. And um, we also could choose a style for the um, control, okay? And most of the stuff are just there. So we'll just come up with a plan. We just got things already embedded, file and all that kind of stuff. But okay, when we did that, we can go over here and I have a thing what we call like a, a template set up. And this template right here, automatically, if you insert it, it'll do a thing. But we just don't want to give you a white template. So I'm going to go over here and open this guy right here. At least even choose a background. You know what I mean? Some kind of background so to like, okay, we do um, music, creativity, or something like that. Okay, fine. All right. But let's get um, the front text. I'll make the front text for final color real fast. White. Okay, cool. We'll close out that. Open back the template sheet, and we'll look on which one we're going to. Oh, we're going to do the first template. I think the first one is the one we just inserted that inside of the the program, right? And we can find out by going back over here to the code and looking at the code draw and see that a bunch of code just got generated up in there, right? So I part about all this code that's generated in there in the background. I have to sit around and write the library in the background, you know. So the library for the program to communicate with it, communicate with itself and said, okay, fine, I'm going to go look for this and put this there. Okay. So now we sort of have this. Okay, so that's a basic touch, right? Now, okay, so our background was there and everything, and we should now clear, okay? And that to show you that the background is there. I really don't like the background that's still, so I should really change and get a different type of background, that stuff. Now, let's do this, um, mm, call up music. Call up music is a nice one. Okay, let's get to making a real um, player page you now. Cool. Let's do what we're doing right here. We have to come over here and find custom player and click on custom player. And it just created a custom player for me, right? And now I will go back to the template generator, right? And um, generate a template in the program. And then we'll go back and we'll go back to the code and we'll say, give us something what we just did. In 2166, an immortal so. tyrant named Vandal Savage conquered the world and murdered my wife and child. Okay. I assembled an elite team to hunt him throughout time and stop his work. So that's the basic thing what the HTML5 arm program does. So as I said, well, they have a bunch of colors they can go to. We did over... Um, 2000 and add color. I wrote 2000 and add color for this program, right? Okay. It took me a couple of days as well to do it, but I did that to make sure the program could series through like over, well, <laughs> 500 and something different colors. So, bless you, watch my HTML5 update. Get it on YouTube. Hey, you know, it's, it's going to be on Facebook. And if you am on my WhatsApp, generally I put up anything there too. That's a blessing. BGA. Um, dot smtvs.com. Keep your eye on the side, man. We are coming with a new thing. So, like we said, the new players will be integrated into the pro into the program. So when people go in, they can generate that. The program now is actually giving you stuff like this player right here. Um, yes, we still do the the thing right here. You know, it's still the same thing, right? Okay, it's a movie coming up. Um, we can do different colors. So. We are finalizing the release for the, for the clothes, so it's kind of cool. Bless up.